FutureLix CES 2012 coverage is brought to you by Cooler Master. Celebrating 20 years of innovation and excellence with visually striking products like the new Cooler Master Cosmos 2 Ultra Tower chassis. Hi, I'm Steven with FutureLooks.com and we're at CES 2012. We've dropped by Asus to check out some new innovations that they've got going on at the show. Uh, this gentleman right here you may recognize from Newegg, uh, probably the unboxing videos at the Asus channel on YouTube. He's JJ Guerrero, he's the technical marketing guru at the company. JJ, how's it going? I'm doing all right, thank you for coming by. No problem. Now, you've got a few things that you want to show off to us on your new uh, Rampage in ROG boards, correct? That's correct, yes. So, as you guys have probably noted, we've actually released our entire X79 lineup, but we're not actually finished. We've got two brand new boards actually for the X79 series segment, and one of them is actually going to be right here that we're going to show you, which is our brand new Rampage 4 formula. And there's actually also the little small guy, uh, the Rampage 4 gene as well, that are going to have very similar features that we're going to be talking about. Fantastic. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, sure. So um, we can actually see here, we've got actually the Rampage 4 formula. Some of the special standout functions is, uh, is that this board, uh, while it's going to be a lower end board in terms of price point from the Rampage 4 Extreme, is you still have four-way support. So you can see right here, that's allowed us to go ahead and do SLI with two triple slot cards. We still maintain actually one of the really nice benefits of going with the ROG X79 with the X bracket. Uh, the X socket interface essentially allows you to take pre-existing 1366 CPU coolers or water cooling solutions and be able to easily utilize them, even though the 2011 one socket is actually physically different. So that helps people save a lot of money because if they're skipping between the X58 Enthusiast platform and going to the new Enthusiast platform, uh, they can save money by using the same exact heatsink, correct? That's correct. It just gives you a lot more functionality and practicality and not having to change out your hardware, especially since the TDPs are very similar in terms of that high-end heatsink. It's able to get the job done also with this new platform. Awesome. Now there's also another feature that you talked about, which is the audio, uh, in, like the increase in quality on the motherboard. You've actually done something to the motherboard that makes audio even better. That's correct. Um, we've actually done a complete a complete rework in terms of the way that we've laid out the actual audio design. So it's referred to as what's called a moat package design. Um, with this moat package design, we've actually completely isolated the PHY or the codec package on a separate PCB layer from the rest of the motherboard. So that ultimately helps us to minimize jitter, uh, drive down isolation, give us all a better signal noise ratio. So the maximum actually codec specification of 110 dB, we can actually meet that because we're not impacted by the rest of the board, especially in a complex board like this where you take in consideration overclocking, multiple GPUs, it's important to be able to minimize any type of signal interference. Now wait, there's actually more because there's some software that helps all this tie together. Let's have a look at that. Yeah. So um, we've spent a lot of time in terms of working about new pieces of software in terms of our AI Suite 2. You know, this works with our advanced digital power design where you can make full real-time adjustments to multiplier, clock speed, CPU straps. You can make changes to fan controls, all that good stuff. But one of the new things we're actually introducing is a brand new function that's called ROG Exchange. So ROG Exchange is kind of tying into a lot of the social media aspect and the forum adoptions uh, in terms of information that people are putting out there. So what users will be able to do with this piece of software is they can go in there, define their actual ROG model, their BIOS version, their CPU, and they'll be able to see templates of essentially overclocks that have been submitted not only by ASUS team members, but other community members, and they can quickly do a compare and a contrast, and then from there, if they decide they want to go ahead and apply it because they see that's an air cooler, that's an air cooler configuration, that's that 4.6 that I want, they can click apply, and we'll go ahead and download that and automatically apply it to the system. So it's kind of like a recipe book for overclockers where we can rate, uh, select, and try out new recipes based on what we're feeling. Yeah, it, ultimately I think it helps to streamline the process, right? Because a lot of time people go out into the forums, right? And even though we spend a huge amount of time giving that information, sometimes it can be difficult, right? You're wadding through maybe 20 pages trying to find these settings, right? And I think here it's gonna be much easier for users to just select their core componentry, then they'll have all their options, and they can even then do just that compare, compa com compare, contrast, hit apply, and they're gonna be good to go. Yeah, because sometimes do a search is not exactly an answer. Yes, correct, correct, yeah. Google is not always your friend. <laughs> Perfect. All right, there's actually a couple more things that we have to look at, right, JJ? Yeah, yeah. So uh, we've got a couple of new sound solutions that we'll just touch on here quickly. One of them is actually right, right, right here. We have our brand new uh, Thunder FX audio solution that's going to be coming out here. This is essentially going to be for the guys that are looking for much higher grade audio. Uh, so closer to kind of, let's say, audio file grade with like our Zonar STX uh, series of products. The cool part, though, is you'll also be able to utilize it with other analog-based devices. So if you have consoles, you can actually also use this USB DAC, and it's got some advanced microphone features like cancellation technologies for people that want to get better microphone performance as well. 
Perfect. Now that we're done playing here, I think there's actually a workstation board that you wanted to show off to us, correct? Yep, definitely. Now, Asus isn't always about playing, about games, about overclocking. They actually have a serious line of workstation boards, and JJ's got one right there. What's this all about, JJ? Uh, well, this is part of a kind of our entire lineup when it comes to the Socket 2011 platform. I mean, for us, you know, we pride ourselves in that we have a lot of segmentation, right? We have channel series like Pro, Deluxe, we have ROG, we have Tough, and actually here we have Workstation. Um, with this workstation platform, this is really focused at Yes, it could be potentially a really high-end gaming configuration, but it's really focused at content professionals, the Soho space, SMB spaces, because what you're talking about here is up to 32 core support, right? You've got eight DIMMs, you've got Gen 3 support, four-way configurations, 14 SATA ports. I mean, this is just a beast when you're talking about people that are looking at, you know, full high-end photo editing, AV production, um, you know, any type of content creation. This is gonna be a platform to definitely consider, especially when you talk about, like I said, those 32 cores, 20 megs of cash a piece on each CPU. It's, it's a beast of a platform. Well, with 32 cores, yeah, that's definitely beastly for sure. And of course, it has all the latest support for all of the uh, the SATA cards, SAS cards that you can think of, correct? Uh, that's actually a great point that you brought up there. One of the really specific things on WS lineups that we pride ourselves on is that we take more uh, time to actually do validation for more advanced option ROMs. So for professional RAID controller cards, higher end maybe fiber channel, SCSI, uh, even more advanced maybe like quad network port cards, things like that, we're doing validation on these platforms to make sure that they work, whereas maybe your mainstream series board Boards. Um, once you start to put in more complex cards like that, they're not always actually going to function correctly or initialize correctly. Now, there's one more thing that was really important, and that's something that you guys actually thought of, is the fact that a lot of software requires a dongle to actually initialize. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys have a really innovative little feature that you put on the board that makes it uh, easier to manage that. Yeah, that's correct. Um, it's right here. It's actually our vertical USB port, so we call them the quick USB. And essentially, that allows you to take those expensive dongles for applications like, like Maya or Lightwave, things along those lines. You put the dongle in there. Once you have then the system locked inside your chassis, you can actually physically lock your chassis. One, it makes it easier so you don't have to keep putting the dongle in to initialize the application and two it's secure from anybody potentially picking it up and walking away with that very expensive dongle which would then limit you being able to actually run the program fantastic well that's uh, the workstation stuff they're really serious stuff for serious working people uh, but there's actually one more thing that will help consumers at home and that's their wireless product let's go have a look at that now if uh Wireless technology becoming more more uh, part of our digital lifestyle. Uh, Asus has actually gone ahead and produced some really great products. Uh, one of them is actually launching at CES, and that's this guy right here. Yeah, that's correct. Um, this is actually our brand new flagship series wireless router. It replaces our RTN 56U as in terms of the top of the line unit. So what we're introducing here is actually going to be our 450 megabits router for both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz concurrent support. It's got some pretty choice hardware, 600 megahertz processor in there, 256 megabytes of dedicated RAM, and an entirely brand new revamped uh, GUI. So the cool thing about this GUI is it's entirely CD free, right? And this is great, as you noted, right? Because a lot of new devices in your home, you're not necessarily always going to be making Maybe going to be either have an optical drive, right? Like our Ultrabooks, there's no CD drive, right? Tablet, there's no CD drive. So everything's web-based. If Once you turn the unit on, all you have to do is actually check for our wireless ID. You go to that, enter the PIN code, and with about 60 seconds, you'll be able to complete the entire setup process and be able to get up online. So it's a great solution, really, for anybody that's looking for high throughput performance. You know, you want to be able to do lag-free gaming, HD video streams, um, you know, high bandwidth network transfers, things along those lines. This is going to really be the item that you're looking for. Now, you've also tweaked out the USB ports on this. This actually has some more powerful USB ports. It does, uh, I, I think you said something about multifunction support? That's correct. Um, if we actually take a look here at the back of the unit, uh, we actually have two high-speed USB 2 ports that offer support high power draw. And the, uh, the big advantage of that is that you can take any standard USB 2 external hard drive and be able to connect that without either taking up the two ports or attaching like an optional AC adapter. So that gives you a lot of functionality. And plus the throughput. Most of the actual USB routers that are on the market only give you somewhere between about 3 to 5 megabytes read and write performance for that actual USB port. Um, in our testing, we're getting anywhere between about 20 to almost 25 megabytes of read and write performance. So we're almost maxing out that USB 2 spec. So that's great once again that if you have an external hard drive, you're sharing your hard drive across the entire network, which you can do, you're going to be able to sustain that and have high performance. And as you noted, we also have MFC or multifunction support. So if you have a wireless printer, scanner, copier, that will actually work wirelessly across your network as well. So that will really tie in everything in your network. It looks like Asus got, has a fantastic product here on the wireless side that makes your digital lifestyle just a little bit easier.
So it looks like we've covered from gaming, overclocking, we've got workstation stuff, and we got something for your home. Uh, we're at the Aces booth here, and thank you so much for joining us and JJ over here. Thank you, JJ. Thank you. For more great stuff from CES 2012, make sure you check out our channel at youtube.com slash futurelooks.com. And don't forget to stay subscribed to our uh, Twitter, Facebook, and all the other good stuff that we put out there. I'm Stephen with futurelooks.com. Take care. We'll see you again soon.